Good evening YouTube, welcome back to Richmond. Welcome to the underneath of the layout. Uh, tonight we are um, just tidying up the bus wires and the droppers. Um, I originally wired the, uh, the layout for DC as those of you from the old school know. Let me just uh, move the camera here. Uh, when I moved to DCC I temporarily wired the layout up with uh, with the power bus and droppers you can see part of the mess uh, behind me so when i moved house and the layouts went from being in the spare room to the garage excuse me and um then we we didn't have the layout set up uh, for long in the garage until we decided it was too damp and cold in here so we needed to insulate it and the result of which is what you see behind me um once the layout was reassembled all the uh, original DCC bus was, was ripped out because it was it was just a mishmash of crap, um, sort of household power cable stuff. Um, I bought a roll of this stuff, which is uh, from DCC Concepts. This is twisted um, power bus wire, so it's proper, excuse me, uh, DCC power bus wire. Now you can see here this mess. Um, I've soldered the droppers directly to the power bus. And then just wrap the uh, the bed wires with uh, insulating tape. It works, it's functional, but it looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? It looks really untidy. So, and even worse, um, where I've wired up the um, the auto frogs, and they look a right mess. Um, they're just hanging from from the board, and they need to be tidied up. The wires need to be shortened and stuff. Um, so we're starting to do that uh, slowly. Um, and I'll show you what I've been using. Here you see before you um, the bus bars that I'm fitting. Um, these will take the place of the solder connections between the power bus and the droppers. So this is one as it is, it's got numbered one to 10 and it's got a nice plastic cover over the connections. Here we go, one with the kind of cover removed and it's just a row of screw terminals and they go through each one. Now to connect them, connect them up, we have these. So this is your, will be your bus bar. So it's just a row of uh, like the fork connectors all joined together and then covered with a nice bit of plastic insu rubber insulation. So that's a red one. And here is a black one. So you can see where I'm going with this. Now over here are two that I've made earlier. So these here are two that I've cut in half. Now the other halves are currently joining a bus bar that I've just fitted to the layout, and I'll show you that in a minute. So we've cut them, and what we do is to avoid any short circuits, we turn them that way and that way, so that uh, there's no possibility of uh, any shorts occurring. So if we just take you back up here to the layout, and you'll see just up here in close up uh, at the beginnings of a bus bar. So we've started, uh, we've, we've fixed them in these uh, joining bars and we're just starting to wire the power bus in so this comes from the end of the layout over that way and uh, we've wired it starting to wire dropper in this one's going in next and um, these two uh, may or may not go in because they're just a duplicate of these and we've got other things to wire up with so this mess here and then over there and just there you can see what I meant about the auto frogs so they're a right mess, there's bare wires. Um, we're going to tidy them up eventually and just, they've got holes in, so we're going to screw them to the, the underneath of the baseboard just to tidy everything up. Uh, a friend of mine, um, I do believe his name is Liam, who runs the trains in the garage, or layout in the garage uh, channel. Um, he uh, solders his wires off, it joins them to a chop block on the end, which is something I didn't think of to be honest. I just uh, put them together and, and fit them underneath the layout. Uh, now I think about it, his, his way makes a lot more sense, so I'm going to uh, redo them like that. And uh, these auto frogs are great things to have. They, uh, for those who don't know, they change the polarity of the point frogs on electro frog points because uh, they detect the, the voltage, of, uh, the, the power coming from the wheels that bridges the rails, and they will change the frog uh, polarity accordingly in a split second, so there's no short circuits. So moving further around here, you can see more of the uh, auto frogs and more of the mess. 
So we just want to tidy up under here. And at the same time, these uh, wires that hang down from the point motors, will um, we'll tidy them up, we'll put them into chop blocks and uh, fix them up there so they're out of the way. So the first one here, this point motor I fitted uh, this afternoon, that one there, um, it works just. So it does operate. Now, the underneath these points are going to get, a uh, point motors are going to get um, the Pico accessory switches. That is purely for future installation of LEDs on the control panel. So all the points under here uh, have point motors fitted underneath of them, as you can see. And they will all eventually have um, accessory switches fitted to them, glued to them, uh, to operate LEDs on the control panel. And these LEDs will show the position of the points. Much uh, low tech, more low tech than a uh, point position indicator, and uh, probably a bit cheaper as well. So the point position indicators are, are not cheap. Um, it'll probably work out more expensive because I think the uh, accessory switch is about four or five pounds each, and a point position indicator is about uh, thirty quid for about ten sets of points. But we'll soon uh, we'll soon see how the cost adds up. And this is just a, a, a lower tech way of doing it and not having to use so much power. So that's what we're doing at the minute. So hopefully I'll show you a bit more when I've done some more of this bus bar and other bus bars further down. So uh, watch this space. Okay, so we've done a little bit. So here's one part. We've tidied up the bus wires. We've uh, fixed the point uh, motor wires into a chop block. Screwed up to the other side of the baseboard, screwed that under. Um, here, this is the first one we did, so we screwed that to the baseboard. Uh, bus wires in, and bus wires out. Various dropper wires. Again, fix these point motor wires to the baseboard. Then under here, we've tied up the uh, auto frogs. It's still a bit messy. I'm still not 100% happy with it, but it's way better than it was. Um, there's no reason why flapping around to be caught every time I dive under. Um, we've also routed the bus wires around the turntable and then they just hang there for now um, they'll be getting fixed a bit closer to the baseboard at some point um, we use some of these um, sticky pads to hold the wires so that'll just go up there like that and uh, that'll just sit under there so still to do is under there and further round where the spaghetti goes and then over the other side of the layout underneath. Not a view you get in my layout very often. Um, so we're just doing it with this end first so we can get, uh, make a start on wiring the point motors. Um, so we'll send wires back towards that board there. We can see the cord of the controller hanging down. Um, that's where the control panel is going to be. So if we can get a, a nice big thick chunky uh, loom of wires going back around that way, um, we'll start here and work our way around. Uh, there's going to be at least one more point fitted under here somewhere um, for the uh, cattle duck. The coal drops, yeah, and the cattle duck. Um, they're still to be built. They'll be under there, so above there somewhere. And there'll be another board just there. But I hope you like um, what I've done tonight. And I hope this gives you a bit of inspiration. These um, connectors, these chop blocks that I'm using, um, I bought them from Amazon. And I do believe I've got a link to them in, in one of my previous videos. If not, um, Chadwick Modern Railway, Charlie Bishop's channel, um, he reviewed them a little while ago. So if you search for Chadwick Modern Railway and look for his videos, um, you'll see uh, his video about these. And he does have a link. So uh, check that out. Um, I'm going to leave it here tonight because I'm, uh, I'm at work very early tomorrow morning. So... Uh, yeah, that's, I'm very happy with that. It looks a lot neater than it did, than it did rather. Um, that will be next to be tidied. There's more uh, spaghetti there. Hope that's a job for tomorrow. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, bye for now.